Hi there, welcome back. In this video today, we're gonna work on this lovely wooden filigree heart, which has got an open back, a bit like an open back bezel. We're going to use some lovely mica powders and some UV resin. Also in this picture, you'll see that we've got some of these nice, lovely little mixing jugs, uh, which you can mix up little, little batches of UV, UV resin. Uh, the heart I've put down on a piece of this, um, it's pale, bluey, greeny coloured sort of tape. Uh, you can buy it from most manuals manufacturers online and so on uh, it's great it secures a good adhesion to the back of the open bezel or this particular heart that we're working on and it stops any of the resin from leaking through into where you don't want it to leak to so here I am I've used uh, I think this was like a strawberry red color um, from memory all everything that we've used will be in the description box below and we're just very carefully adding in the resin to the three little hearts here using uh, this is actually a micro brush with the brush bit missing it came off so I tend to use it to apply resin in small detailed areas where you need it so I think this was one this next color was like called a raspberry pink it's got a bit more of a shimmer to it than the red yeah just applying it in to the hearts there so you can do this one colour at a time, one area at a time, and then use the UV lamp to cure the resin. Um, I tend to do it for three lots of 60 seconds. Bit of overkill maybe, but uh, that's that's usually what I feel happy doing. But in this particular um, instance, I just, I just went for it. Um, so now here what we're doing is putting this beautiful sunshine yellow shimmer colour into the centres of the flowers. Thought it looked particularly lovely. And then here we go, just stirring it a bit more. I'm going to put it in round by where this star is at the bottom of the heart, a tiny bit at a time. So if you didn't want to do it the way I'm doing, which is basically to fill in the, all the gaps where there isn't wood, uh, you could do it where there is wood. So um, you would do just the outline of the hearts on the wood. You would do the outline of the stars, outline of the petals. It's totally up to you completely up to you what you want to do there so I'm just filling in a bit more of the one of the bigger gaps of the heart there and then just using the brush just to take it into all the little edges up to where the wood is a little bit at a time this has video obviously has been sped up otherwise you'd be watching a 30 minute video rather than an eight minute video uh, and obviously we don't want you to get bored but by all means if if you're had enough of watching this bit you can forward to towards the end where we'll show you the finished project so there we are just adding a little bit more and I decided at this point that I wanted to make up a different color that's a, like a purple shimmer mica so we're just going to put a little bit of that into the bottom of another one of these really handy uh, little mini silicon mixing jugs. They're really small, but they're incredibly useful. If you've got a mold that's got detail, intricate areas, then mix up your resin, put in, in a separate um, container, put a bit into here, and you can get a, a really good direction when it comes to pouring resin in to different areas within molds or you know in or in the like the open back bezel type thing that I'm using here so just stirring that up until I'm happy that it's all mixed thoroughly enough and here we go we're going to pour into into one of the larger areas pushing it through again with the little um, micro brush it uh, it does find its own level the resin it works exactly the same as regular resin it's just the fact that if you're a little bit impatient sometimes like I am uh, it means you can cure it and it's usable within minutes depending on the size of the piece that you're working on don't do what I do and try and use it in and I, well, I completely forget and try and use it in molds that are a solid opaque color see-through molds absolutely fine opaque molds no because the uv light can't penetrate the mold to cure the resin enough so here we are with the this is actually a white gold color so it looks white in the container and then as you can see when the sunlight or the light hits it it's got this sort of gold sheen to it so i'm just adding that into some other areas within 
the open spaces of the heart. There we go. Sort of just mixing a few. Well, I thought there was too much in that area. Moving it around, making sure that it touches all the areas and the sides of the um, heart that it needs to, and the shapes within the mold. Just going to continue doing that. And I'm almost completely full up now. There we go. So just the last cut few bits coming up. And you can see what you can see there, that black, there we go. If that's a long neck uh, lighter, um, it is thoroughly cured. Um, what you can do is use long neck lighter before you cure it, just slightly over the top, not touching, but over the top of the resin to get rid of any little bubbles. And then uh, this is the point where I have actually cured the whole thing. And I was just showing you there with my little pokey tool that I've got that it is tapping it, that it is completely cured. Now, you could leave it like this. If you're completely happy, you can leave it like it. But what I wanted to do is because out of the the um, lights in my uh, in the room where I'm doing this, it the colors look, the colors look a bit dull. So what I'm then doing is adding in um, some UV uh, top light resin as a top coat spreading it out just towards the edges and then curing it. So this is now uh, me just finishing it off, um, happy with the coverage of the UV resin as the final coat and just showing you a close up there of what it looks like. Uh, making sure that everything is completely covered as it should be. Of course, any um, spill off over the edges that you get with the top coat, um, you can rectify, you can take it off with a little bit of sandpaper, or you can, if it's still soft enough, you could use your scissors or a deburring tool if you have a deburring tool. So I just spotted there that in the top right hand, as you're looking at this heart, there was a little bit of resin that didn't seem to want to stay there and it was pulling away from the edge of the heart so what i'm doing here is i've just popped a little drop more of the resin on and just spreading it out again towards the edge of the of the heart itself so here we go here's the final piece very pleased with the outcome of this project uh we'll probably be displaying this in the window or as a hanging decoration with a ribbon through the top Thanks ever so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, at bell and leave a comment for us. Take care everyone. Thanks again and goodbye.